Hi children, welcome back in our online English classes. We are still I hope you all are fine and enjoy watching videos. Keep watching our videos regularly and study regularly. Dear student, before dividing holidays, we have finished our three units. And today we are going to start a new unit that is fourth unit. And this is the lesson 4.1 that is Aesop's Fables. Okay, Aesop's Fables. Dear students, so what is mean by Aesop's Fable? This is the title of our lesson. Actually, Aesop is one person. Okay, so Aesop is a name of person and fables means one type of story. So all about Aesop's Fables we are learning here. On this page, if we read this information given here, so we will clarify about this. Okay, so let's read what is given here. So I will read for you. Let's see. You can also read with me by looking at screen or in your books. Since you are childhood, you have heard or read many stories of birds and animals. You must have read stories such as the rusty crow, the fox and the grapes, the wolf and the lamb, and many others. Such stories are called fables and are said to have been told by a Greek called Aesop. And they are popularly known as Aesop's fables. So what is said in the first paragraph? It is said that from your childhood when you were a children, now also you are a child only. So you may have only listened stories like Thirsty Crow. Have you listened the story Thirsty Crow? Yes. Fox and the Grapes. That also we have learned the story, listened the story. Okay. Again one is given here. Fox and the Lamb. Okay. What is that? Wolf and the Lamb. Okay. And many other stories. So students, this type of stories where animals are the main characters, these stories are known as fables. And again one thing is given here, it is said, okay, it is not confirmed but it is said that these all stories has written by Aesop, okay, one person is here Aesop and that's why these stories are known as Aesop's fables, okay. Now, let's see what is given here in the next paragraph. We don't know for certain who this Aesop was or where he lived, but it is said that he was a slave and lived in Greece about 2600 years ago. Okay. He was so good at storytelling that his master being pleased with him and gave him freedom from his bondage. Okay, so what is said here? Actually, we don't know who was he saw, but it is said that he was a Greek, means he was a Greek person. Okay, so about 2600 years ago he lived. Actually, we don't know who was he and where did he live, but it is said only that he was from Greek and about 2600 years ago he lived and it is said that he was a slave. Okay. So, and he was a good storyteller. Means he tells story very good. So, that's why his master freed him. Okay. From slavery. His master released him that you are not now slave. Uh, you are now not my slave. You are free. Okay. So, he freed him. Why? Because he was a good storyteller. Okay, so in this way we have learned about Aesop. Again, what is given here? Let's, let's see. Okay. So it is one bondage, one word is there. Bondage means what? Bondage means the uh, relation between two people. Or uh, we know that Aesop was a slave. So it was a bond, bondage for Aesop. Okay. So at that time, Greece was ruled by the king whom the people didn't like. They wanted a new king in his palace, uh, sorry, in his place. Aesop told them a story to show that the new king would be even worse. And the story he told was like this. So now uh, this paragraph tells us about 
our story, our lesson. What is here? It is said that the king, okay, at that time the king was very bad. So people was thinking that we should have a new king in the place of this king. Means they wanted to have a another king to them. So Esau told one story to people to show that the new king can be more worse. It can be more bad. Okay. So let's see what the story is here. So I will read this for you. Let's see. Once upon a time, the frogs were discontented because they had no one to rule over them. Some of the frogs went to God Zeus and asked him to give them a king. Zeus thought they were stupid to us for this as they were better off without the king. So he threw a log into the pond where they lived and said it would be their king. So this is one imaginary story, it is one fable. Okay. So dear student, what is told in this story? That it is given here once upon a time the frogs were discontented. What is mean by discontented? Means they were not happy. Okay, they were unhappy because they had no one to rule over them. Because there were there was no king to rule them. And some of the frogs went to God's Zeus. So God Zeus is one god. Okay. Actually, Zeus is the god of thunder and sky. So they asked him to give them a king. Zeus thought they were stupid to us for this as they were better off. So God thought, and why this why these frogs are asking for king? Now they are better condition, they don't have any ruler to rule them. Okay, so God was thinking that uh, they are very stupid. So God, what to? God just threw a log into the pond. Log means you know what is mean by a big wood. Okay, a big wood. So uh, God threw a log into the pond where they lived and said it would be their king. And then God said, this log is your king. So dear student, we have read and explained this paragraph, first paragraph. So new words are already given here. You have to write from glossary. Okay. The remaining part we will continue in our next video. Thank you.